Hey, Stephen, you're going to be our speaker at the March meeting of readership with the book, The Leadership Challenge. What are the benefits? Why would someone want to be involved in Readership Toastmasters? Well, I think back to when I was first approached with the idea by Chris Bovitz, who was at the time the president of my other Toastmasters club. Tell me a little bit about it. What are we doing? It's like, well, it's a leadership book a month and then a Toastmaster meeting around uh, having the book be basically the focal points. And at the time, I'd kind of been press, pressuring myself to read more books, and specifically those around leadership, as that's something that I'm, I'm trying to strive toward myself. I want to be more successful in business. I want to be a leader, and I want to really push myself to be successful. I've learned from readership that you cannot simply go about life doing the same things over and over again and expect your life to change. You need to actively step out of your comfort zone, try something new, and take risks. There is no leader in the history of the world who has ever just fallen backwards into being a successful leader. They had to work at it. They had to have a vision. They had to have followers. And they had to have that drive and that passion to be truly successful. This isn't something that you can learn by just talking to your manager. It's something that you need to learn by bringing in more information. One of the books we just read talked about going out and seeking wisdom. To actively seek wisdom is to take the first steps in becoming truly successful. And so by taking the two tenets of Toastmasters, the public speaking piece, as well as the, the leadership path, and tying them, marrying them as one, it's really been a great platform to go out and learn what success looks like, and also interact with like-minded individuals, uh, those being my fellow Toastmasters, and really tap into each other's minds.